What is going on YouTube? I am Prepper Princess, the author of Living on Almost Nothing. If you're interested in purchasing my book, I'll leave a link down in the description box below. Available in ebook, paperback, and all proceeds from the sales go to charity. So, um, if you all noticed in my shorts, in my community tab, I showed how I lost 20 pounds in one month, or 20 pounds in 30 days. I actually did it with one day to spare. <laughs> this morning, I weighed myself. I was 151.5 yesterday. Today, I am 150.5, so I've actually lost... 21 pounds in one month. Okay, so, and, and I documented it all on my Patreon channel, but there's a lot of people who wanted to know how I do it. No problem. This is the real world. <laughs> Let's talk about the real world. What I'll do is I'll tell you really quickly exactly how I did it, and then I'll go into the details of the psychology behind it, the mistakes that I made, uh, stuff like that. So first, what I did is I, okay, so how do I explain this? All right, so I drink coffee. First thing I did was I chose one thing that I am not willing to get rid of. That is my coffee. My coffee I drink, I drank three of these per day. It's espresso, half and half, and sugar. So, so what I did is I switched from three to two. So now I have two a day. I switched the sugar to monk fruit and I tried it with milk, but I went back to half and half, but it's okay. Um, so now it's two per day. Each one of these with the half and half, and the and, and every time I say sugar, I mean monk fruit. So I'm, I'm gonna say sugar, but it's monk fruit. So each one of these has approximately 300 calories. So I get 600 calories per day from my coffee. Yeah, maybe, maybe you would rather eat than drink coffee, not me. It's the one thing I won't go without. Second thing, I have a, a, a watch. It's not an Apple watch. It's a very fit pro watch. It's like a, it's a cheaper version of the Apple watch. It's about $40, $45, but when I got it, it was like $25 and I just replaced the straps. But anyway, that is neither here nor there. It's a pedometer. And the first thing I do when I wake up is I take a sip of my coffee and I go walk for five miles. 10,000 steps, five miles, uh, get it out of the way. Um, I walk everywhere. I, if I have to go to get groceries, I'm walking. I usually walk the dogs. I walk Nala for three miles and I walk Rocky for two miles to get my five miles per day. After doing that walk, by the end of the day, I usually have eight or nine miles just from walking around the house and doing yard work and whatever I need to get done. So that's a huge one, walking. Um, I eat, when I eat, it was one meal a day, 3.3 ounces of chicken or a tilapia filet or a can of tuna and then a side of vegetables, a half a, a half a plate of vegetables. The vegetables were broccoli. There, there, there has to be broccoli for the fiber so you keep your poop going um, and your digestion is all good. So broccoli or broccoli mixed with zucchini, mushrooms, just a, ve a traditional vegetable stir fry. That is my one meal a day. Um, and then I did Zumba, which is the older ones. I'll leave links in the description. Zumba Cardio Party or Zumba Sculpt and Tone. And I preferred to focus on the Sculpt and Tone. Uh, occasionally I would do the cardio, but I'm getting most of my cardio from my walks, which is low intensity cardio. Um, but I focused on sculpt and tone so that I can keep my muscle mass up while my calorie deficit is down. So that is what I did. That's it for 30 days. Uh, there are other things that go into it. So if that's all you wanted to know, there you have it. That's what I did. I walked, I woke up, I have two cups of coffee in a day, one meal a day with 3.3 ounces of chicken, a tilapia filet or tuna, a can of tuna and a side of vegetables and my two coffees, walk five miles, do Zumba, that's it. Oh, and I'm sorry, and my steam sauna. So I have a sauna and after each workout, I will do the sauna. It helps to detox the body. It gets my body ready for sleep. It also increases my heart rate and takes a 45 minute workout kind of into an hour long workout because I'm in there for 10 or 15 minutes. Love my sauna. 
Uh, it's one of my favorite things. Absolutely love it. So that's what I did. So let's get into the psychology and details of all of this stuff, where I made mistakes and stuff like that. First of all, let me say, I'm not a nutritionist. I'm not a doctor. I have... I'm not somebody, you know, that I see these people on YouTube, V Shred is a bunch of horrible, horrible advice, who come on here and pretend that, you know, they've got the ripped body and they tell other people what to do. And no diet is right. Everybody's got a different body. Everybody's got different tolerances, different dietary needs. So if, you know, you can try this, but if it doesn't work for you, if your body tells you it's wrong, don't do it. Don't do what I did, okay? I don't, I don't like necessarily recommend it to anybody. Um, it's just follow what your body tells you to do because your body is not my body. I just want to, I just want to say that out, out front. Um, so I started at 171.5. The first week, and this is normal, the first week I lost 10 pounds. Now, most people say that that's water weight. Eh, I don't know about that. I mean, some of it might be, but not, not the way that I was doing it. Because, I mean, I was working out like a mad woman and all this other stuff. And, and the shock of going from just eating normally and not working out, lethargic, blah, blah, blah. It's a shock to the system. So, um, the first 10 day or the first seven days was 10 pounds. And that's normal sort of, but not for somebody who started at such a low weight than as I did. One of the problems that I was having researching doing a weight loss journey like this, and I'm not done, I'm going to keep going. But one of the problems that I was having, there were a couple of problems. How do I lose 20 pounds in 30 days? All these videos come up. <clears throat> most of them are men, you know, most. Um, and men's bodies work very differently than women's. Women's bodies store fat way better than men's do. It's just, uh, it's just our DNA. That's how we work. So when a man comes on there and says, do five jumping jacks, 10 push-ups, and you're good, that doesn't work for a woman. We have to work four times as hard for half of the results. So just keep that in mind. It, you know, I, I ask, just switch from regular beer to light beer and you'll lose 20 pounds in 30 days. Well, I don't drink beer and I'm not a guy. So that doesn't work for me. The other issue that I was having was people who were losing large amounts of weight in a short amount of time have a huge, you know, they're, they're starting at 290 pounds. You know, these women who are starting at 280 pounds. Yes, if you, if you have that much weight on you, losing 20 pounds in 30 days is going to be much easier for you to lose 20 pounds as opposed to somebody who starts at such a small weight at 171.5. So those videos simply didn't work for me, you know. Um, so what I did, I decided to go like all out, like I'm just doing all of it. Like let's do keto, one meal a day, high intensity interval training, um, fasting, you know, let's do all this stuff, but I'm going to do it in my own way. So I am not going to go on a water fast cause I'm not going to give up my coffee. If it, you know, I am addicted to it and I'm not apologetic about it. That's the way it is. I'm always going to have my coffee with cream and sugar, monk fruit, whatever. Um, it's always going to be that way. And I'm not going to give it up. Now, imagine if you're drinking three of these a day. I had to come to reality with myself. If you're drinking three of these a day, that's 900 calories a day. If you want to weigh 130 pounds, you can only eat 400 calories. And that will keep your weight at 140. 500 calories. So 900 calories plus 500 calories. So I already ate very little before, but I got up to 170, you know, 900 calories in this plus 800 calories to eat. I got up to 170 or 171.5. So imagine what 800 calories is. It sneaks up on you. Most people don't, don't think about their drinks, but 800 calories a day, is very, very little. It's not even a plate of food. If you go out to a restaurant, your typical meal is going to be 1200 calories. I can't, you know, if I eat that, I'm going to get up to 200 pounds with my 900 calories of coffee. You know what I mean? So I had to be real with myself. And I also had to look at my weight and say, okay, this was my fault. It's nobody else's fault. It's my fault. I did this to myself. 
So now I have to correct it. How do I correct it? That's what I had to do. Um, so let me, let me go over a few things. So I had some hurdles along the way, which was totally my mistake. First of all, they don't tell you this. There is this like keto tongue. It's gone. I have a normal tongue now, but my tongue was black for two weeks. Um, I had no carbs. The only carbs that I get is from my half and half. And keto is 50 grams of carbs per day or less. The only carbs I was getting was from my half and half. Um, and it equals less than 25 carbs per day. So there was some sort of detox going on in my body and my tongue was black with a film for like two weeks. And um, it eventually, it went away. And what's, <laughs> and at the two week mark, I, I started getting really tired of the food. I really did. Um, and I was craving something that I don't eat. I was craving pickles. I, I wanted pickles. So I went and got a big giant jar of pickles and it's, you know, the labels, it's good for you, zero calories, whatever. Um, so I ate three pickles thinking that was good for me. Well, the ingredients in pickles, whatever it was, made me hold on to extra water weight for like five days, like five days. So I didn't lose weight. What did it, it took me nine days to lose one pound from 161 on the eighth to 160 on the 18th because of three pickles. Yeah. So you have to be really, really careful with you, with what you eat. And then, um, I went a few more days and I made the mistake of listening to somebody who I shouldn't have listened to. And that's that V shred guy who says, uh, stop doing cardio every day to lose weight or I'm going to jump in this pool. And then he says, you got to watch your body composition. And so I watched the body composition video thinking this guy knows what he's talking about. And I was stupid and I listened to him. Like this whole hour long video, he's talking about his mom's friend doing what I did and then lost all the results or something. And he goes, the problem is that you need metabolic confusion. So you need uh, two cheat days a, a week. Like you need to not exercise and eat pizza and donuts and stuff like that. And I'm like, okay, you know, cause I think I know what he's taught. He knows what he's talking about. He didn't. So I picked the next two days, the 21st and the 22nd as my carb days, you know, so I can keep this going. I didn't do anything crazy. I just went and got a burger and fries. You know, I didn't go get pizza or, uh, you know, big, big, huge things that he was eating. I didn't eat any donuts. Uh, I got a burger and fries. Um, and I did that on the 21st and the 22nd, I was like, I can't do that again. My stomach felt like it had a brick in it. And, um, I, I was like, I can't do that again. I gained weight. I, I gained weight from that carb, like three pounds. And it took me all week, an entire, like five days to get it back down. So that's why I say, you know, if what I'm saying doesn't work for you, don't do it. You know, some people gain weight eating one meal a day. Some people gain weight water fasting. Some people gain weight, you know, doing the things that I did. So if it doesn't work for you, don't do it. Don't do it. So moving on. So on the 27th, now I can't call it a water fast. I can't call it fasting. Because first of all, I'm still getting 600 calories from my two cups of coffee. So I switched from three to two. But on the 27th, I started not eating my meal. I was just so sick of the same meal every day. And I just didn't want it. I'm just like, I would rather not eat than eat this same thing again. I actually still have seven meals in my freezer waiting to be taken into the fridge and thawed out and eaten um, under my one meal a day plan, but I'm just like, I don't, I don't want it. I'm not going to eat. Um, and I would rather not eat than eat that thing again right now. So on the 27th, 28th, 29th, 30th, 31st. And today, um, I have no meals. 
that doesn't mean no calories because I've got the 600 from this. And anytime my stomach, you know, you get those hunger pains, but, and I'm fine with hunger pains. I grew up poor. We didn't have a lot of food in the house. Uh, we went hungry a lot of times, so I'm accustomed to it. It doesn't really bother me like it would other people. So in my stomach, when I do get the hunger pains that are like really, really bad, like really bad, um, I will have half of a deviled egg. That's it. So you've got one egg and you split it into two. You make it into two devil, half, two halves of a deviled egg, one egg, two halves. I would have half of a deviled egg. And that would be enough to make the hunger pangs go away. Now during this entire thing, and, and I would have maybe one full egg a day. So I would do that like twice a day when the hunger pangs were really bad. Um, and I'm still doing that and I'm doing fine. And People say, you know, when you when you eat that little, you can't work out. I'm not listening to that. I worked out the entire time and I'm still working out every day. It, with the exception of that one carb day on the 21st, um, I worked out every day, seven days a week. Um, and I will continue to do that because I feel amazing doing it. My Zumba. And the thing about Zumba, um, I don't like work out, like I don't take a weight and sit there and go like this because that would drive me insane. I can't work out like that. Um, I can't go to the gym and like go on a machine and pull things and then do this. Like with, I, I, would, I would have quit because I hate doing that stuff. But dancing to me, Zumba, dancing makes me feel like I'm not working out and I love to dance. So. It's just combining a couple of things that I really love. And to be honest with you, when I first started Zumba, by they, they do it in little sectional increments of like five minutes each. By the time I reached the second one, I was like, I can't do this. I, it's too hard. Now I'm just like, um, it, it's kind of like autopilot. Like I go, I turn on my Zumba DVD, I do the DVD. And by the time it's over, I was like, oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Like it doesn't, my my energy level is up and my strength is up and I just I feel really really good and I'm going to continue this now um when we get into the psychological stuff the why did I do this um you know on on YouTube there's there's a lot of haters out there there's a lot of trolls out there there's a lot of bullies out there horrible horrible people are on the internet and they say things to to you or about you and they think that they don't hurt you or maybe they are trying to hurt you but it builds up and it builds up and it hurts a lot it hurts a lot um and I became extremely depressed like really depressed. I was lethargic, sleeping all the time, not spending the, the time with my dogs that they needed. And, you know, it, it goes a lot deeper than that. But, you know, and people will tell you that you have, you're mentally messed up. You have, you don't know what you're talking, like anything you can imagine, they will say it to you. And there was this one, I went to a video that somebody made about me I which I never should have done and in the comment section of the video it's when I was working at a nursery when I lived in Arizona and well that's when the comment originated and it said in it no wonder Prepper Princess films from the waist up because she's fat from the waist down. I ran into her at work and I hate her so much I would never go and say hello to her, but I took a picture. And um, that hurt a lot. And it that comment caused me to become depressed and just go on a downward spiral. Um, I was eating more. I was eating more not good thing like not bad but you know compared to most american diets but i wasn't eating you know right i wasn't exercising and it just sent me on a really bad downward spiral now uh you can suck it because <laughs> um i feel great my confidence is up and 
it, life is better when you have more confidence. And, and I'm finding that I'm being more lately with the weight loss and my confidence being up, I'm more approachable. I, I approach other people to start discussions, um, strangers, you know, and I have no problem filming from the waist down. I never did. It's just that it's easier to film this way. You want me to do like a little walk? I'll do a little walk. Filming, I'm not fat, I'm sorry. I'm not, you know, if you wanna, if you wanna call somebody fat, do it to their face so I can punch you, you know? You were right next to me at my job. Why didn't you come say that I'm fat? I would have laid you on the ground, bro. You know, and it was obviously a man by their name. Um, and they were too much of a coward to come and say it to my face. But in them doing that so so badly behind my back, it caused me to it caused me to make uh, really positive changes in my life. And at this point, my goal. So for my body height, my fi I'm five foot seven. It is healthiest to be between 122 and 159. So I'm now at 150. My goal is 140. Um, and it more than likely that once I get down to 140, it's not gonna take me two weeks to get down to 140. The, the weight loss, 20 pounds in one month is like, that's just to get you started. That's to get you the motivation that you need to keep going. The, the next 10 pounds might take me two months. Um, and then beyond losing that weight, I might end up getting down to 130 like I was before. But if I get below 130, I need to stop because I start looking weird when I get below 130. Like you can start seeing the veins coming out of my face. Um, and my, you can see my spine through the back because there's no fat. Um, and I start looking really strange. And that happened to me before and I had to cut it. I had to cut it pretty quick. But going without food is not difficult for me. It might, it, you might be a diabetic and not be able to do that. So you just have to do what's right for you. You have to listen to your body, do what your body tells you and um, keep it going. You know, once you reach your goal weight, you should continue doing healthy things that are good for your body. And hopefully, hopefully soon I'm actually, uh, I have a goal is to get down to 140 by June so that I can go to Pride Parade and hopefully meet somebody. Um, yeah, if you don't know, I'm, I'm gay and I'm trying to uh, find somebody who's not just a one and done deal. I don't want a date, I want a girlfriend. Like I want a long-term partnership. So um, I am making the changes in myself to make myself uh, better, on the dating game. And I think that it all needs to start internally. I don't believe that people should just accept you as you are when you're at your worst. I think that you need to take responsibility for yourself and make yourself a better, better person so that others can be more attracted to you. All right, folks, that's how I did it. Do what you can with what you've got. Prepper Princess out. Ah, I messed that up.